Hey everybody, it's Jason with JR Custom Designs. I uh, hope everybody's having a good uh, Saturday evening and night or day, wherever you're at. Um, I've got the the improved rotary clamping system uh, done. I want to show you, uh, try to make it quick, a uh, video on what it is and uh, how it is installed. So first. Well, that didn't work very well. Sorry, had some minor technical difficulties. All right. So, anyways, uh, as I was saying, so I'm going to show you a quick what I've got here and uh, what all comes with the kit. Okay, first thing is the the clamp. Uh, yes, it does look like um, the ones that are out there on the market right now because it basically is the same principle. Um, one second. Let me uh, let me share this out. Continue on. Um, like I said, this is a, is a clamping system that you've seen other people make, similar, very similar. Um, but there are some some differences that are in this. All right, on the end of this, I put a extended dimple. Uh, you see that there, a dimple, because on the old ones it was a really small lever, and your my my fingers would slip off of it. Whereas this one, it's got a nice long lever that you can. Uh, get a hold of and it don't slip out of your fingers easily okay also the the roller there's two different sizes there's a big one and uh, there's a small one for different types of materials that you're doing okay um, they are everything on here is printed except for the bolts um, and then the o-rings obviously for grip on your material and they have uh, sealed ball bearing rollers so it's a nice smooth roll everything's nice and tight it's not wiggly jiggly everything's nice and tight that way it lessens the chances of having any wobble on your system okay so that's the clamp part all right this here is the heel that goes on to the back of the slave rollers to allow your material your cup your uh, glass whatever to butt up against this to keep it from walking back and forth on the rollers as well um, this here this is a uh, tool free drill all this is tool free drill free there's no um, no need to drill anything into your your rotary uh, this slides on to I'll go ahead and show you it sits right on the bottom there and then it all slides on as one unit this in itself is friction locked to this so it's not a permanent stop but it keeps the uh, 
the mechanism for moving. Um, and planning for the future, <laughs> I've added three holes to the bottom here and you'll get an included thumb screw with the kit that uh, if it does get too loose to where it starts to move you can th thread this in there and it puts pressure on the back side and wedges it so it won't move anymore. Alright, so, um, and also you'll get the upgraded O-rings, the fatter O-rings for your roller, uh, much like the uh, other ones, but they're uh, a millimeter thicker and give you a little bit more clearance. Now if you buy the whole kit, I've got these two things right here. Uh, they'll be on sale uh, for 15 bucks for the set, but what these are, are um, alignment tool for the, the rotary. So you can't really see it from there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my other camera here before too long. Um, but they slip on to, grab this other camera real quick and I'll show you. Uh, they slip on over the nuts that hold the wheel on and uh, yeah, I've got the right one. Alright, so they slip on, where's that at? So they slip on over the nut on this side and then on your opposing side here they slip into those nuts there um, and when you have this loose it's free to move about that way it'll line up flush with these which will make it flush with the, the main rollers so kind of taking the guesswork out of uh, um, lining up the two ends so that you have a straight line between them uh, like I said those are those are going to be free with a complete kit roller kit um, and otherwise they'll be $15 for the pair and that'll be shipped so um, look for that on the, uh, the web page. I've already got the link to order the kits. Um, right now the kits are, I'm finishing up some, some cosmetics with it. Like with this here, it's going to get some rounded edges and stuff so it's not so blocky. Um, and a couple other minor aesthetics and, and, and stuff will be done to it as well. Uh, I plan on starting to uh, produce these this, this week coming up. Um, I'll be out of town for the weekend and then getting on it all next week. Shipment should start going out before, at least by the 26th I'll start shipping them out. And then I have to, uh, I'll be leaving town for uh, about a week and a half. So any orders placed will, have to, will be uh, sent out as soon as I get back and have them made. All right, so real quick, now that we've gone over everything, first thing is obviously this would be on here, and then your knob would be on there like that, your rubber, your rubber uh, bumper. Okay, so I've already taken them off because I took it all apart so I could show you how this works. Um, but it's really simple, like I said, this piece comes off, you put the cradle on it, and you line up the holes, and... Everything just slides on. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put this together real quick. Just enough to keep me off the table. Um, and you're probably wondering why I'm screwing this in from the top. Uh, this is the adapter bolt for the uh, the retention plate, which is right here that mounts to your uh, the bottom of your laser and actually keeps this end here from moving back and forth while you're using it. Hey Craig, what's going on? I hope you uh, or I hope I was able to cover everything for you today. If you have any questions just feel free to let me know. You know where to reach me. Um, so once that's on, that part's done. Alright, now the next part is I'm going to put the heel on. and. To do that, you have there's three bolts right here. You take out your center bolt, place the heel on it, and it's already it's already uh, notched to be square with your with your um, 
your other two bolts here. So you slide that on, slide it all, all, all the way forward, and hold pressure on it, and then tighten down the bolt. Now that's in place, okay? And then finally, we have the roller clamp. All right, this roller clamp, like I said, it's really simple. Down inside, let me uh, switch back to the camera here. All right, if you look down inside there, I don't know if you can see it with the light, there's that nut and bolt sticking out right there. And what that is, is the, uh, it's the idler pulley adjustment, okay? So that's the key to holding this thing all together. Sorry for the back and forth of the cameras. I'm not really set up to do this, but I just wanted to get this out of the way. Um, so what that does is this piece right here, there's a hole notched in it for that idler uh, nut. Alright, so if you get this, and as you can see there's a crack there. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, you can see the crack. Alright, when you get it, it's not going to have that crack in it. This this union right here is meant to separate if needed. Um, depending on where your pulley is and where that nut is up and down on the rotary, it may or may not break apart. Um, it's supposed to split right there in the middle. However, it's not supposed to break off <laughs> otherwise. Um, and what it does is when it breaks open, it pulls it apart and then it clamps down onto the remaining part of the nut. Uh, and it, this had to be done in order to accommodate, you know, everybody's different situation because one belt might be tighter than the other or one might be looser than the other, but that's that's why this was done this way. That way, uh, this is as universal as it possibly can be. All right, so you put the, you just put it down over that nut and just simply push it back, snap it in place, and you're done. Now you have full use of your rotary, and then when you're done with it, if you got to move on to something else, you just pop it off, and you're done. It's that simple. Okay? And again, put it on, it snaps into place, and then you're ready to go. So really, that's kind of the down and dirty with, with the, uh, the kit. Like I said, again, you can get just the clamp. You can get the clamp and the heel plate or you can get the clamp, heel plate, and uh, slider. You see how this locks it in? It doesn't, doesn't allow it to move. Um, you get all three of those or, with, or without the O-rings, and then you can get all three of those with the O-rings, and all the prices are on the website um, for all that stuff. And uh, like I said, I'll get, these on, I'll get these on the website soon, but right now they are free with any order of the clamping kit, the whole kit. Uh, not just one or two pieces of it, the whole kit. Uh, that's with or without O-rings, so that's up to you. But either way, if you get the full kit, labeled full kit, you'll get uh, a free set of alignment blocks for your, your rotary. Um, other than that, uh, that's really all I have for this. I'm probably going to do another video offline, a little bit more detailed on, on the install, a little bit slower, um, and it will be linked to the web page where you purchase the the um, the rotary clamp kit. So uh, it may not be up there if you order if you order now. It may not be up there. I'm waiting to. Uh, I mean, it's late here. It's almost nine o'clock, I think. Um, so it'll probably I'll probably do the video tomorrow. And link it to the page. That way, uh, when everybody gets their their clamps in, the video will be there to help with the install. Um, if you have any questions about anything you've seen, like I said, this is something uh, I showed before, but this also is for the rotary. Um, after meeting with Craig today, I'm going to come up with something similar to this for the the 1600 series, because this right now is for the 24 and 36 series lasers um, and after seeing his laser and getting some measurements off of it today I'm going to try to come up with something a little bit more efficient for the uh, the 1600 to hold the, the rotary in place so it doesn't move 
So I noticed when I was helping him today, a lot of the uh, a lot of the um, the times we were putting the cups on and off the rotary, it was kind of slipping around a little bit and had to make sure it stayed stayed lined up. Um, so I'll definitely have something for that in the, in the not so distant future. Actually, that'll be my next project that'll take on for this or for these lasers. Um, again, this this unit is made. Sorry, this is just made for this type of rotary. If you have any other type of rotary, this is not what you need. This will not work or may not work. That's at your own risk or discretion. Um, this is standard with Boss lasers. This is standard with most Chinese lasers. And it's also um, standard through Amazon, pretty much anywhere you go on Amazon or eBay. There's no real part number or anything to it. But if it looks like this, then it'll work. And if you have a Boss laser, it will definitely work. And China lasers, like I said, there's more, more than likely it will. But just just balance it off of what you have, and if you have any questions or doubts, just send me an email with some measurements of what you're concerned with, and uh, I'll be happy to check it out and see if it it will fit. If not, I'll see if there's a way that I can I can make it fit. So, uh, with all that being said, I hope everybody has a good rest of your weekend, um, and uh, yeah, like I said, check out the link on the uh, description and check out the tools and jigs for boss lasers for all the different stuff that, that I have available up there and for any new stuff that comes out videos posts new items things like that if you have any um, hey what's going on Brent um, if you have any uh, questions comments concerns or if you'd like to see something or if there's something that's that you think needs a solution of some sort let me know. I'll be glad to, to uh, try to take it on, see what I can do uh, to make the laser experience a little bit better, easier, and more efficient. Uh, this is not the uh, I don't know. It, it, this is not like the other other clamps, other than the fact that it has a pivot, which they all do. Um, so please don't don't uh, get that wrong. This is not a, a knockoff or anything like that. This is something that I've been working on for a while, um, but just now decided to come out with. So, anyways, again, have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching, and uh, like and share, follow for any new content that comes out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good weekend, and like always, laser like a boss.